now we wanted to send it over to One America's Trey Yinks, who is at the White House with some breaking news. Hi, Trey. Good afternoon from the White House. I just got out of an exclusive meeting with President Trump, just a group of about 20 journalists in the Roosevelt Room meeting with President Trump, getting some insight into the president's thinking on a number of issues, a wide range of topics. I want to start with some breaking news, though, when it comes to trade, the president speaking out against NAFTA and also trade uh, with the Canadian government. And what we are learning today, the president just saying this now uh, from the West Wing of the White House, that the Trump administration is going to put a 20 percent tax on soft lumber coming into the United States from Canada. Uh, he was joined by his Secretary of Commerce, Wilbur Ross, who spoke extensively about how the Canadian Canadian lumber industry is undercutting the U.S. market uh, by $5 billion each year. So uh, a, a beginning uh, to renegotiate uh, some of those trade deals with Canada. And we are just getting that information from President Trump today in the West Wing. Additionally, we are learning a lot uh, from the president. He stayed there and spoke with reporters for about 30 minutes. Again, uh, this was an off-camera, originally off-the-record uh, conversation with many of these reporters. When the president was done speaking, uh, a number of the reporters, myself included, in the room, uh, we spoke with the press secretary who said all of the president's comments were on the record. He felt comfortable sharing uh, what he was saying in that room with the American people. We are also learning more about the situation in Syria. I was standing feet away from the president, and I asked him uh, if he was concerned concerned about the stockpile of chemical weapons that the regime of Bashar al-Assad has. We saw more than 270 Syrian individuals today sanctioned by the Trump administration and the Department of the Treasury here in Washington, D.C. Uh, the president went on to speak about this, this chemical weapons stockpile that we learned about just late last week. The Israeli military reporting that the regime of Bashar al-Assad has more than three tons of chemical weapons. The president it's actually uh, going back to the Obama administration and saying uh, that when it comes to the chemical weapons that were uh, reportedly removed from Syria during the Obama administration, he says they were duped, the Obama administration. He went on to say it was like taking candy from a baby, speaking about the former president, Barack Obama, and his negotiations uh, trying to remove chemical weapons from Syria. The president went on with a very strong tone to say, we will see what happens in Syria. And it, it sounded as if he was prepared to use military action again, should these chemical weapons uh, be used on civilians. I wanted to make sure I got the president on the record speaking about uh, that issue. As uh, we saw uh, just earlier this month, the president uh, using for the first time in his presidency uh, those 59 Tomahawk missiles striking the air base that those chemical weapons took off from. And then finally, uh, another piece of news coming out of the White House today and that meeting with President Trump again, that private meeting from the West Wing in the Roosevelt Room, uh, giving more information about the situation in Iran. Uh, the president went on to say uh, that he felt the situation there was very grave. He has not been able to focus on it as much as he would like to due to the unfolding situations in not only Syria, but also North Korea. Uh, but he went on to say uh, that, uh, that he felt uh, he needed to have some sort of report out to the American people on the situation in Iran. Uh, and he actually did say uh, that the administration is studying the current nuclear deal that was negotiated under the Obama administration. And he will be releasing a report, he said, soon on this issue. So a lot we learned here today from the West Wing of the White House, the Trump administration opening up uh, to about 20 journalists there in the Roosevelt Room. All right, going back to the point, as we know, President Trump, he doesn't really like to disclose what type of military action he would take. Do we know any sort of timetable when he would take some sort of military action in Syria? He wanted to make very clear uh, in this meeting that he held today with those journalists uh, that he would not take the use of chemical weapons lightly. We saw his response to that attack on April 4th when he launched 59 Tomahawk missiles uh, at that air base where the chemical weapons took off from. He did not note uh, when he would use them in the future, but like I said, his tone indicated almost a, uh, a threat to the regime of Bashar al-Assad, sending a clear message uh, to the regime there in Damascus uh, that if they were to use chemical weapons again, uh, it would not be taken lightly by the Trump administration. I want to give you some details, though, that the president spoke about after I asked him about the situation in Syria. Some very, very unique inside details uh, about that missile strike, uh, the 59 Tomahawk missiles uh, that hit that air base ordered by President Trump earlier this month. Uh, he actually gave us some details about the moment that he ordered the strike. He said the generals came to him and said, quote, uh, they are locked and loaded. And then he said, I gave them approval. 
and he went back to dinner. Uh, he had dinner, obviously, there with the president of China. But he gave some details about the conversation that occurred right after that. Uh, he turned to the president of China and said, we have just launched 59 Tomahawk missiles through the interpreter that was sitting there between these two world leaders. Uh, the Chinese president actually asked the interpreter uh, to check again and repeat uh, what the president had just said to him because uh, it was obviously a, a major military action by President Trump there from his Mar-a-Lago resort in Florida. But he said ultimately the president of China supported him in the decision and they had an extensive conversation about how the use of chemical weapons on civilians cannot be tolerated in the international community. So very interesting details there we are getting from the president today in the Roosevelt Room.